Uh, hi, it's Ivan here from Clarity. Um, let's look at how we can create endnotes and a few different kind of tricks as regards the appearance and um, different things like that. So let's flip over to Word and here we are. So to add your endnotes, go to the um, the references tab, which is you know towards the middle of the ribbon menu, and you can create um, footnotes or endnotes, and also you can um, convert one to the other. But let's get into it and I'll show you how it works. So if you click this little icon here, you get a new window, the footnote and endnote window. And because you're creating an endnote, he's automatically highlighted endnote, endnotes. And you have two options here, by the way. You don't have to put the endnotes at the end of the document. You can put them at the end of the section. But just bear in mind that, you know, in Microsoft Word's little brain here, section is a kind of... Um, it's to do with the way the document is structured under the hood, so to speak. So if your document has no sections, then by default, it will appear at the end. Um, but you can go in and you can create your own sections if you want to. Um, it, it's very straightforward. Um, so let's look at a few other things too. What you can do is you can also change the, uh, the numbering format. Um, and in this one here, by default, it's these Roman numerals, but you can also use um, you know, numeric, alphabetic, you can choose different symbols if you want to. So you can get, you know, really funky here and do some nice cool things. Um, a lot of options. And then you can, you can also change the apply to settings, I should say, to the entire document or just sections. And I forgot to mention, you can um, make it continuous or you can kind of restart if you want to. So what that means is that if your document, for example, had, say, sections that were in portrait, your document had to say portrait sections, and then it had some that were in landscape, and you wanted to have the different um, uh, end notes appearing in those sections, you could change it like that. So again, to, to put them in, sorry if I didn't um, mention how to do it, choose a word, excuse me, click on that, click uh, insert end note, it takes you to the end of the document, I'll pop them in, um, same little message here. And by the way, if you click on the end note itself here, it takes you back to where you put it in. And if you bang it back open, you know, I can also, by the way, change it if I wanted to, to a footnote, I'll just do it. So do okay and do insert. And there you go. He's gone from the end of the document. And I bet you if I go back to here and scroll down a little bit, there he is. He's at the bottom of the page. So that's the nice thing is that you can change your end notes to footnotes and the other way around. And, um, a lot of good things there. So if you have any questions or get stuck to, with anything, send me an email or join us on the Facebook page. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.